Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Larubi Claudias. Please, I will need you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. Okay, so I decided to make this quick um, shift kimono dress. Now I just need something to wear to church simple tomorrow, so I decided to just um, make something like this. So now what I'll be needing for this tutorial, this is a gum step, right? And then this is a different fabric, pattern fabric. So what I did was to cut out the pattern and then iron gum stay. So that's where this comes into it. I iron gum stay on it. So I have to, I'm yet to decide which one to use for it first. Okay, so I'll keep this aside. And then you need a zipper, a tape roll, a chalk, and then your fabric, of course, okay? So now, for a kimono dress, a kimono dress, a kimono dress is a dress that has the shoulder cut together with the with the dress so you don't attach your sleeve separately the sleeve is cut together with the bodies okay so now this is what i have so to, to measure your kimono let me just use this mannequin this body form now to measure your kimono right so now you just take assuming there is a there is a hand here so now what i do is to get from your nape here the center bone here just measure so this is my shoulder half right i can just measure to where I want the sleeve to stop, okay? So I will assume there's a there's a hand there, I will just measure it towards to the to the to my hand, okay? So wherever you want it to stop, that is where your shoulder is going to stop. Now remember I did it from my center back here, from my nape here, okay? So that now I want the sleeve to be long. So like so I'm making it I will be stopping at 17 inches, okay? So I'll mark my 17 inches. So 17 inches plus folding allowance plus the uh, seam allowance will be um, 18, uh, 17 and a half. Okay, so I'll mark my 17. So this is exactly 17 and a half with 4 inches instead of 3 that is standard. So I don't know if you can see it. So this is my neck with 3 inches. And then the depth, instead of making it 3, I'll make it 4.5. Okay, remember I'm still going to. I'm still going to sew it and then it's going to reduce right so now so this is my sleeve so now on my on my on this part here i'm going to come down from the hem and uh, the starting point of my fabric i'm going to come back 1.5 right so i'll come down 1.5 and then i'll need a ruler that's my shoulder slope i need a ruler to connect it so i'll just connect this way okay sleeve length now my uh, round sleeve so i'll mark because i don't want it fitted so i'll make it 0.5 so this is 7.5 remember i'll be i'll be sewing it half inch and then i'll be sewing this part here half inch so i can try to just add so instead of one in half inch i'll make it one inch because i'll still be hemming this part here i'll fold the shoulders together okay so this is it so now i'll mark my bust line now shoulder to bust line here now I won't be using my shoulder to bust line now. I will be using 11. Okay. So this is 11. Or I can as well use 10. Right. So, but I'll be using 11. Right. So, and then my shoulder to waist. My shoulder to waist 18. So this is 18. And shoulder to hip 26. Right. So this is 26. Okay. So now my measurement, I'm not, this is not a closely fitted dress, it's a little bit free. That's why it's a sheet dress. So now my my waist, my bust is 36. 36 divided by 4 is supposed to give me 9. Okay. So now I'll be doing it 9. I'll be marking it 10. Now remember I've not added seam allowance here on this my bust line. I just hope this thing is clear enough. So 10. So my waist now. My waist is 37, um, 30 divided by 4 will give me 7.5, okay? So now I'll be marking 7.5, I'll add, this is 7.5, there is no that, don't forget. So I'll mark 2 inches extra, okay? So, so this is my, so for, now my hip is 40, so 40 divided by 4, 10. So I'll just make it, I'll add 2 inches as well. So now this two inches is not standard it's it's based on how you want now you can do it the way you want now see what i'm doing now see now i'm connecting it down like an a line but not not very free so let me show you the difference between my 
okay 12 here so the hem now will be 14 so my hip is 12 and then my hem is 14 just a little bit free okay so now here we go so from here now i'm going to connect it this way can you see see this is my bust line now i'm connecting my bust line now i'm connecting this is my bust line rather i hope you can see this line here is my bust line so this is my sleeve okay so i'm connecting from my from my sleeve to my bust line and then down so now i just come in like this you can see let me bring it down some more so you can see so you just connect this way to your bust line then to your waistline and then to your hip and to your hem now the, you can see so this is what i have realize that I just this is my bust line my bust is 10 okay so I just realized that I didn't add enough so my bust ordinarily is 9 it's meant to be like 2 inches I'm supposed to add 2 inches extra that's 11 so this is it so I'm just reconnecting let me bring it down so you can see okay so this is where I have For the back, I will cut the back and then add the zip allowance, right? Okay. All right, so I have gone ahead to mark the zip allowance, okay? So now on the back, I won't be coming down four like I did. Okay, okay I came down five, so I'll be coming down two inches for the back, so I'll just connect. So the front, the the back is is four by two. Why the I'm just measuring what I have here. I have 8.5. Okay, so my wrong side. So I'll be doing it two inches. Right then, plus sewing allowance, that's the same allowance to be 0 0.5. That's 2.5. So what I'm doing all together is 2.5. Okay, so I'll just fold it. Remember? My sleeve is 8.5, so this is 8.5. So I'll leave it at 9 inches, okay? So this is my 9, nine inches, so I will mark my 2.5. facing for this uh, for the front so I just folded my fabric into two and I placed my front this way so there's no lining because there's no lining that's why I'm cutting it facing for this so I'll just I'll go ahead and cut here with this um, zip allowance okay
okay so after cutting your face in i went ahead to sew the face into the front and that of the back as well and then i attach my zipper and then i use the facing to close the zipper from the top okay so now what i did now is i sew my um applique that's my ankara patch on the side i just placed it the way i want i want it to be okay so from at from the beginning of this video i showed you the ankara patch that i was to use so i had to change it because i think i prefer this color to the other one so i had to change it to a yellow fabric so what i did was just to iron my gum stay on it and and after ironing i then cut out the the pattern out i placed it there so i went ahead to sew the side i joined everything together and then i, I fixed one of the torn up sleeve so i will show you how i did this one okay so um what i did now is i just you know my fabric is on fold okay so i went ahead to to overlock the edge so it can be it won't fray so it will be neat and then what i did next was to what i did next was to notch the middle so you can either use a chalk or you use your your scissors to notch it and then you place it now after matching your turn up with your sleeve now you have to go to your machine and sew it inside out so after sewing you now have your turn up outside while the rough edge okay so after sewing this is what you should have you sew and then you iron it should be neat as shown okay so now what um you have to do next is to get your stone applicator now this stone applicator comes it's it, it comes with different um mouths that will fit um your sizes of stone so this stone i have i, I don't know the size number it's quite small so this is a smaller mouth okay so um what i did now is to plug it to an electric socket so it can heat up so after eating you allow it you just leave it for a while like two two minutes two to three minutes for it to be to get very very hot so after once it's heated up you can then start applying your your stone so the stones i use are the swarovski stone the, the the shiny ones they are a little bit more expensive than the regular stone so it's it's a bit it's it sparkles in the dark so i think that is they call it swarovski also there so depending on what you can afford okay so you have to use the stone applicator to start um to apply it meanwhile before that i am what i did what i'm showing you right now is after joining your bodies now the armhole you have to notch it down if you don't notch it it won't lay flat you can see you know because the the sleeve is cut together with the bodies you need to notch the armhole so it can lay very flat so that is how you are seeing it if it's not notched it would it will it will be bulky around the armhole it won't be it won't be nice so it's good you notch after sewing so now this is my stone applicator it's 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 hot now so what you do is to you, you bring out your stones and then you you use the applicator the the mouth to 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 touch the stone now where the wax is now it is the heat on the on the on the applicator that will melt the wax you can see it's on if it's on you see the the light the red button right so you have to place the use the applicator to pick the stone and the stone is to heat up the the wax the the wax on the stone so if it's you see it melting up so once it is beginning to melt you can you you are to now place it on your fabric fabric and then you can use your hand to press it down but if you use your hand because you'll be doing a lot of it your you your hand will hurt so it's better you use your scissors or now i'm using my ripper the the uh, the head of my ripper to to just calm it down to press it down rather so once you you pick your stone and then you turn it 
on your you place it on your fabric and then you you use your 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 anything whatever it is you're using to just heat press it down okay so just look at what i'm doing and then you do the same it's quite simple now the reason why i like using this tone applicator because it helps me follow my pattern correctly all right so that will be the end